I mean, he doesn't even know that's a bad haircut. <laughs> He paid that guy. Chief Shepard is here, and one of the things, before we begin, I've been really impressed with, and then I want to see if you'll be willing to talk about what I, uh, the whole thing with Mr. War, but the, uh, the unprecedented access that you have given, I think, the community, more than just, I would say, news or anything, the community to you has certainly... Uh, had to work in building a better relationship with the community through the town hall meetings. You've been out. Don't you have on the street? You and, and Mayor Richards together have done these. The Twitter town hall meetings. And then News 8's doing a whole piece, a series on you that Kevin Doran's doing, uh, all about, you know, just talking about Rochester's finest and, and what you go through. And I think a lot of it focuses on, on you and your job. Uh, how is that working? I think it's very important that uh, the Rochester Police Department and me as the chief, am, I am accessible. I think yeah. uh, people want to be able to bring Isn't there an concerns. app or something now? We've had an app Isn't for about a year. Isn't it called Yell at the Chief app or something? No, nobody yells at the chief. It's uh, my PD <laughs> app, and, uh, but it does give them access to us in a number of ways. And I right. think that uh, a lot of our social media is focused on the fact that a lot of the up-and-comers yes. don't u- watch TV. You know, no. They're not sitting at home. They're using their cell phones to do everything. And so right. we want to take advantage of that. Right. And that is where people are living now. You're right. Yeah. I mean, it's migrating away from traditional forms of, of media to, to that kind of stuff. So when it comes to you know all this stuff, all this work you've done to build this relation, and then this video comes out of Mr. War being knocked out of his chair, and we saw it on It was sent to us on Friday. Uh, and you see that, and it almost... At least, and, and everybody has said. Perception. Yeah, at least you only see, you don't see what leads up to what we see, right? So you only see the guy getting knocked out of the chair, and then from there, and someone screaming, he's being mace and all this. That seems to take all the work you've done and push it back further and make those relations kind of tense again because that's all people see. And again, that's social media that somebody's putting out there, and if that's all people are seeing, boy, that's tough. How do you combat that, and can you even talk about this? Now, I know there's an investigation into the whole thing. Well, one thing I'll say is that, you know, Rochester Police Department makes 17,000 arrests a year. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the fact that someone can say, look at this arrest, and this um, is something that's indicative of uh, a police officer, it's totally, I think, inappropriate (laughs) due to the fact. I think there are circumstances that we need to be called to task or put to task relative to what we do, how we do it. Um, in this particular instance, with uh, Mr. Ware, obviously he's following. Is it Ware? I thought it was War. I, I apologize. Ware it's War W A R R, I believe is the yeah, spelling. Yeah. Okay. Is that um, my understanding is that he has initiated a lawsuit or is in the process of doing that. So it's not necessarily where I would you know come and talk about it on the air. Mm. Um, one thing I will say about the video, and you've already touched on it, is the fact that you know if you listen to the audio, it leads you to a place that may, you may not get to if you just looked at the video yeah, yeah. without any audio. And I think that's a key piece as well. Well, that's why I wanted to play it. Did you hear us playing the end of it? I did not. Okay, because we were playing the end. Can I play it while you're sitting here? Yep. All right. This is the end of the video. We had it up on Facebook. This is uh, Mr. War, where I, I actually don't know how to pronounce his last name. And as he is uh, knocked out of the, the wheelchair or whatever, uh, he was knocked out of the wheelchair, and, and they're screaming he was mace. But you're going to hear a woman say kind of why this happened, and it's sort of hard to determine who's who's the who's subject who? and who's the, the yeah. verb and who's the, or vice versa. Is yeah. it the police or is it was aware? Here we go. He's mad because he got punched in his face. That's what that They pushed him out the chair because the dude been harassing the block all day. He's mad because he got punched in the face. Now, okay, so I don't know who the dude who was harassing the block all day. At first, when I listened to it, I thought, well, that's that's Mr. Ware or Mr. War or whatever, you know, riding in his chair. Maybe he was getting mouthy with people. Uh, other people have said, no, uh, that has been the quote-unquote open drug market for years. And police come through and uh, say, hey, move it along. And by the community standards, they're harassing me. Well, I'm I don't know what to say. I'm Chief. glad you bring that point up is because, um, you know, we work very closely with the Jefferson Avenue Business Association. Yeah. And what they've tried to do is, um, you know, there's been a lot of work done on Jefferson Avenue with yeah. new streets, new curbs. Mm-hmm. Businesses want to want to thrive. And so what they've tasked us with is clearing the block. Because what they don't want is when you have these clusters of people that are um, hanging out. It's going to kill business. Selling dope, it kills business. Yeah. And so that's part of our, right. our task is to get out there and clear the block. And I always talk about it like walking on a razor blade. Because on one hand, somebody wants us to clear the block. On the other hand, someone says, you're harassing me. Well, that, and, that, okay. and that's the dance we go through. Yeah. Well, and then I also said that. So then that would lead me to believe that the officer got punched in the face. 
which makes me go, hey, that sounds like a great job. Yeah. It's Friday morning, and I can go get punched in the face or Thursday morning, and all I'm doing is my job. I guess you kind of... You, I, don't, I don't want to say you expect that, but maybe you expect that when you're a police officer that you're going to meet some resistance somewhere along the way, and that's the thing. And so they're saying because this guy was pissed off, that's why they went so hard at this other man. Now, I, he is, I think, bringing the lawsuit. He did lawyer up. And as Tommy man, said. Man, they dressed that dude up. <laughs> Could they make, the only thing that was missing was one of those bandages that go over the head. The they halo. got the, the, the <laughs> gooseneck on. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm it. sorry, man, but when I saw that, I go, man, this, let me just say, ambulance chaser. That's all I could think of. As soon as I see that collar on a dude, yeah. I go, that's an ambulance chaser. He got somebody good. No, so that's kind of where things were at. When I heard that, I wanted to play that piece of audio because mm-hmm. I didn't know what it was. And that's kind of been what, what's come back is that it was the police. But it, we did hear that that has been for 40 plus years. A major drug area. A major drug area. And you know, and you talked about us going out and doing Chief on the Street and, yeah. and being accessible to the community. And I heard that's coming to Jiva next year. So often. <laughs> <laughs> so often for us the in the music department. Yeah. That is the complaint. Yeah. Is you know Whatever street, whatever uh, business strip you talk about, those are the issues for the people who are business owners or the residents complain about is you got to clear up the block. You got to clear the street up. You got to get them off the corner. And so, again, I've been on the police department 32 years. That has been the dance we've gone through is where people want you to clean it up. And then somebody is upset because you're cleaning it up. Yeah. Now, in terms of how we clean it up, and that's part of this issue here in terms of the complaints, is we got to be professional how we do our business. You know, right, we can't, right, you know, make right. it personal. We can't make it no, where this, we I, I see aren't saying. following the rules. But at the same time, we're never making everybody happy. No, I, I, I well, clearly, as you call it, walking a, a razor's edge. Can I ask you kind of a personal question? Thirty-two years on the force, did you ever have anything where you got punched in the face or anything that you remember along the way? I mean, that's a tough job, and all you're you're doing. I mean, probably the worst thing to go into is a domestic situation. I can't remember specifically uh, somebody punching me in the face. I've been in fights on the job where, you know, you try to do something and somebody doesn't want you to do it. And you end up punching it out. And uh, I always won, though. So, uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it, it, it's interesting. And I just thought as it goes, you know, you see all this work that you're doing. So when you're on the street, people have already seen this. Have you heard other people say, hey, I, I don't care what was going on. I mean, what are people saying to you about this? If they can get, and I'm sure that you get feedback, you get criticism, right on the on the app and all. I haven't gotten uh, anything on the app. I actually went to the avenue yesterday, and uh, me and one of my deputy chiefs, we walked around on Jefferson Avenue. We talked to a number of people, and you know, we got both sides of it. We got people who said, you know, that was terrible, that was wrong, it shouldn't have happened. And then we had business people telling us, hey. They were doing what we want you to do. And so there's the razor blade. You get both sides of it. Well, when you get the people saying that, I always think that the one thing for most people, you you know, all of us, we just want to feel like we're heard or we matter in some way. So I think it's kind of cool that you go down there and people have that wherewithal that they can walk up to you and say that and feel like they can say it. And it, it, as long as they do it in, in a civil manner, you're willing to listen to them, no matter how, you know. And everybody's not civil, but <laughs> you do have to listen. And I think that's the important piece in terms of whatever we do, whether it's chief on the street, whether yeah. it's barbershop talk, yeah. whatever it is, you give people the opportunity to be heard. And then when you hear them, you have to react to what you hear. And when you can change things, you change them. Yeah. There's some things we can't change. You know, we talk about people on the block. There's a reason it's been going on for 40 years, because of the cycle of us making arrests, right. people taking their spots, uh, going it's through the, the war ups on drugs. and downs of everything, is that yeah. it, it is a challenge, and it's been a 40-year challenge. Right. Right. That is the war on drugs. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is all drug-related. I mean, it really comes down to it. To right. me, it's, this is the problem. Right. All right. Well, Chief Shepard, I mean, uh, I, I, I say... You give you a nod. It's tough, and it is walking that razor's edge and trying to keep everybody happy. It's like God serving two, you, two masters, right? Trying to keep citizens happy and business owners happy, and it's it's just trying to do it. And everybody's got something to say on how to do it or how to do it better, and you seem to be able to walk that line well. Well, I think the most important thing is we know what our our role is, and our role is to you know make the city safe and and make people want to live in it and make people want to do business in it. And you know it is. Um, that razor blade that we walk, but at yeah. the same time, I think that we're doing a fantastic job, and uh, kudos to the members of the Rochester Police Department go out there every day and get it done. Is there a chance that one of the, the chief on the streets could be like a karaoke night? 
where everybody gets to sing. <laughs> I would love if to I get see to choose some, the songs. Yeah, I would love to see. I have a feeling that you could sing some karaoke, and I don't know why I get that feeling, but I could see some performance. So you coming think out. that because you saw my brother on Survivor? Yeah, I do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm not that type. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it is Chief Shepherd. Thank you, Chief. Nice to see you this Thank morning. You. We will take a break in the break room on 96.5 WCMF.